Good evening, everybody. Hope you're well. I've still got a bit of a bad back, but it's not as bad as it was two weeks ago when I was doing the Saturday Night Live from the little bedroom in pain. But I hope you're all well. I hope the weather's better where you are than where I am at the minute because it's nasty today. Although I'm hoping the weather's going to be better tomorrow because me and Jade are going to Apps Court Farm. Fingers crossed. The car's loaded up. Looks quite empty in here at the minute because the car's loaded up. I've put a load of stuff next door and, yeah, so we've got a bit of room in here to, to swing the cat. But, yeah, so I hope you're all good. I hope you've had a good week or two weeks since the last year. Hope you've uh, sold loads of stuff or you bought loads of decent stuff or just whatever you do as a, as a job has, has been going well. So I'm going to go and see who's in, as usual. And uh, we've got Elaine in. Good evening, Elaine. I saw Elaine earlier on Max, Max's um, on Max's little live that he did, Maximus and Co. We've got my mum in. Evening, mum. Uh, love you too. Uh, got Pete's Toys and Tings. Pete, hopefully I'll see you at the car boot tomorrow. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to Pete's channel, go and subscribe to Pete's. He does all stuff, obviously, Toys and Tings. Uh, evening all watching with that's not bad that's not good mate is it geez sorry to hear that yeah definitely get better soon mate oh i won't be seeing you tomorrow at the car boot then will i i won't be seeing you tomorrow i'll see you next time uh very lucky to uh, we have we are very lucky we haven't i think that's supposed to say have not i've had it three times i think which wasn't good. Uh, been lucky up till now. I've thought about it when it was more. Yeah, the other variant. Yeah. No symptoms, just cough and cold. Oh, I was really ill with it. It's bad. Got Jade in. Good evening, Jade. So I've got all the car loaded up for tomorrow. Got a bottle of water to make the coffees with. Got the coffee cups. So, yeah, I've got to remember to bring a spoon, actually. That's what I've got to remember. I've got the kettle. I've got the gas stove. I've got the gas. Just got to remember a teaspoon. Um, everyone's saying hello. Uh, does this mean Darren from Me By Gum is coming on? Not tonight. No, not tonight. But um, I will try and sort that out for sometime in the next week or two. Totally, totally, where I hurt my back, it totally went out my head about that. Oh, hopefully, me, uh, let me just check that the mic is still working. Hello, yep, yeah, still working because I just knocked it. Okay, so we're still okay. Let's move that a little bit. Uh, we've got Laura in. Good evening, Laura. Hope you're well. We've got Rich Secret Carper in. Hope you're good, mate. We've got Lynn in. Good evening, Lynn. Hey, we've got Dave in. How are you doing, Dave? I hope all is good in your world. I'm sure it is. Uh, have you got the tables and tarpaulin? Oh, I have got the tables and the tarpaulin. Don't worry, I've got it. Hi, Laura Carper, Lynn in, Dave ABL, Jade Rich, Elaine Pete, and lovely Pat. If you don't know, James and Sarah have really been going through it. Um. Yeah, he been been investigated. If you haven't seen their video and you're not subscribed to their channel, go and subscribe to their channel and watch their video because, yeah, someone's uh, grasped them up, I think, for, for something they haven't done. And they got investigated, which is never very nice. They've been stressing about it, but it's all over now. So I'm so glad for you, for you guys that it's all done and dusted. But if you haven't been and seen the video, make sure you go and watch their video. Uh, as well, if you haven't subscribed to Dave ABL, make sure you do. I'm sure all of you are. He's got he's got loads of subscribers. Uh, Pete saying hello to everyone. Uh, he's saying hello. So everyone's saying hello to everybody. Oh, really? Just got back from a date. It went well. No false teeth, though, Dave. No false teeth on this one. <laughs> if you know Dave. And if you saw Dave on the Saturday Night Live, I think it was, uh, yeah, there was a, an incident <laughs> incident with some false teeth. 
<laughs> which uh, was hilarious. Thanks for sharing. No problem. No problem. Anytime. Waiting for the pun. <laughs> There's no. He, he wouldn't. He wouldn't say it if he hadn't been on a date. He's been a while. <laughs> uh, no worries. Uh, J Night cheeky mare. <laughs> She is a bit cheeky. I can't wait to see her tomorrow. I are doing the thing tomorrow. Um, sorry, Dave. Um, yeah, so we're doing a car boot sale tomorrow, me and Jade. And, you know, it's it's also my brother, would have been my brother Steve's birthday tomorrow as well. So we'll be thinking of him tomorrow and mum will be setting some balloons off. And I'll I, if I get back in time, I'll, be, I'll set the balloon off. Otherwise, I'm going to do it on Monday. Um, but yeah, so thinking of thinking of definitely thinking of my brother tomorrow, seventh of April. You know, it's a it's a difficult time. But like I said to my mum earlier, you just gotta remember the good times, you know. And we did have a lot of good times. So there he is, look, bless him. There he is. Happy birthdays for tomorrow, mate. Um, right, so we got Kath in as well. Good evening, Kath. I hope you're good. Hi, Rich, and everyone. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday to you. Uh, do, 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 do. Thank you, mate. Appreciate that. That was my lips, yeah? Uh, Calf saying hello to everyone. Jay saying hello to Calf. Thinking of you tomorrow. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Yeah, I'm going to go and, uh, down to the memorial tomorrow, to the plaque that we got which you lot kindly helped me do. You know, most of you guys have been around since I started all this. And, um, you know, you've, we've been through it all together. There's a lot of people that have been and gone that are no longer around, which is a shame. You know, I've lost quite a few subs and I don't get the views I used to get on a Saturday Night Live. Um, but, you know, still thinking of everyone and still miss people. Obviously, James and Sarah have just started getting back onto YouTube and, you know, I sort of do get messages from people, Tam and Bell. You know, we usually comment on each other's posts on Facebook and stuff. You know, and I, and I sort of, I did go on the WhatsApp group that I set up, originally me and James and that set up on my, well, I set it up. Um, and people are still using it, which is nice to see. Um, yeah, so tomorrow's going to be a tough day, but we'll be boot sailing. Hopefully the weather will stay off and we'll, we'll, get down and sell some stuff good evening patch hope you're well mate i hope you're good uh everyone's saying hello lynn it's better i can get down the garden now at least um still get a few odd twinges i have like managed to load the car up today though and move a load of stuff around in the sheds so that's good getting better like two weeks ago when i'd done the saturday night live from in the house uh, it was absolute agony and a couple of days after that, I fell on the floor and my legs wouldn't even work. Every time I put my legs down, it was like tingles and pain shooting up my legs. But, yeah, much better now. Um, like I say, looking forward to getting out and doing a car boot sale tomorrow because it's been a long time and uh, me and Jade need to shift some stuff, some quality merchandise. Uh, everyone's saying hello, which is good. And... That's all right. I don't mind winding you up all day tomorrow. And and, you, and she will. She will wind me up all day tomorrow. Uh, take it easy. I will try, Lynn. I will try and take it easy. But, um, God, this week's been a bit been a bit man, manic anyway. Um, the wind. We got our drive done. And when they were doing it, like I went out to take some, I think I went out to take some teas out or something. I can't remember what it was. And like the door, the wind hit the door and ripped it off the stay at the top and smashed one of the lanterns at the front of the drive on the front door, front of the porch. So I, I thought, oh, well, I'll have to get it sorted, but no real big rush. So then about four days ago, I think, about six o'clock, the camera was clear on the drive, the, the ring doorbell. 6.21, I think it was. By that time somewhere, the winds got so bad. Uh, and the lantern, these lantern things have been up for years. 
but the other one had literally been blown off the wall and it was hanging the wire was hanging down i could see it on the camera so obviously electricity and the weather wasn't great it was raining on and off so the wife said i'm going to go and buy some new lights and you can you know if you can put them up so i had to do that this week up on the steps and putting new lights up where and trying to do it and make it look decent because the previous lights that someone else had put up were a proper bodge job so yeah so now we've got some lovely got them up down lighters you know the ones that beam up and down really nice it makes it sets sets the front of the house off actually uh cash saying ebay is absolutely dead just got 60 pound off on a 100 pound bag that i bought new and still has tags might be skimp but jog on i had something on for i think i had something on for 150 quid and someone sent me a 50 pound offer and it's like really you know yeah like yourself calf you know i need to sell stuff um and ebay every time i put a film prop on it doesn't take long to sell at all so but running out of film props and got to get some more stock and you know it's just it's just one of them things but other than that like for normal stuff that's been on there a while and i keep listing and sell similar you know it has been really slow and i've been talking to a lot of people who say it's slow i haven't spoken to james because me and james decided that while he was while the kids were off school he's going to do his family thing you know we usually speak every day but he's going to do his family thing um while uh holly bobs is off school and uh we'll get contact again after when everyone's gone back and everything's back to normal but you know i don't think james is really he's picking up such good stuff that i don't think he's getting quiet periods which is really really good uh oh yes good evening good evening jeff you wonderful man um love jeff and and uh santa and mrs claus <laughs> yeah loyal yeah i'm a lucky man good evening steve i hope you're good mate i did watch your live the other day with uh you know so sad when when you uh someone you know passes away it's it's really sad even if you've only known them through through youtube or whatever really sad uh james santa doing santa everyone's saying hello a loose term uh, we've got Chris Tyler in. Good evening, Chris. Hope you're good. Very loose. Hi, Steelbook Steve. It's <laughs> a good name for him, actually. Hey, Steve. Everyone saying hello. Oh, Elaine's daughter's on Santa's nice list. I think I'm still on Santa's nice list. <laughs> Is Sean A in the chat? Well, that's another thing. Hopefully he will be. Hopefully he will be. He might just be lurking because he's worried about meeting us tomorrow. Uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's rubbish, isn't it? It's rubbish, and that's why we've got to remember the good times and just live every day as if, if as if it is your last, because you never know. And you know that's one thing I've learned, and it's taken me a sort of two and a half years to to get me back on properly. But you know, you just got to remember the good times, you know. And me and Steve, we were brothers. We argued, we fell out, we fought, we actually fisticuffs when we was younger it was just ridiculous you know and there was times we didn't talk for sort of two three years at a time probably probably two or three times like that where we didn't talk for a couple of years you know and you got to forget about all that and you just got to remember the good times you know the good times when i spent time with steve and brian blessed in the ca in the cabin chatting and meeting all the other amazing people that steve introduced me to like famous actors and stuff and just you know, we did have good times when we was kids. We used to kip out on Monkey Island near the near the cemetery, which was always fun. 
you know, um, we fall out, but we, we really did have a strong bond and we're, we're really close. Like, and like I said to my mum earlier, now you just got to remember the good times with Steve. He, you know, he loved Christmas. He loved horse racing. He, you just, you just, just, you just have to, you just have to remember those times. Uh, fine. Chris. Oh, there he is. Hi, buddy. Hope we're going to Apps in the morning. We are going to Apps in the morning, Sean. So we shall see you there. I've got the, uh, the only thing I've got to remember is the teaspoon. I've got I've got takeaway cups. I've got the coffee sachets. I've got water. I've got the kettle and I've got the gas stove and extra gas. So we should be good for tomorrow. Uh, Lynn's going to be back. Curry just, oh, curry's just arrived. Nice. We've just had spicy chicken wings. The My wife made a satay sauce. Ah, oh, beautiful. Just a big bowl of chicken wings. A bit of homemade egg fried rice and a bit of sat nice cubed up salad and she made some sort of creamy mushroom th thing warm creamy mushroom thing i don't usually eat mushrooms but i always try to I always try to eat things that i'm not so keen on you never get me eating celery i can't stand celery i would never never ever eat that um yes jade night just arrived um i hope your mum's good mate i hope you're not under too much stress and yeah it'd be good to see you tomorrow be really good to see you tomorrow oh actually sean jade asked if you know anything about pearls oh yeah oh, i nearly said jade <laughs> jade asked if you know anything about a pearl necklace but <laughs> i'm not going down that route but yeah, she wants to know if you know about pearls and not pearls of wisdom. Oh, here you go. Look, see, <laughs> I didn't even see that. Sean, do you know anything about pearls? Better late than never. Definitely. Always good. Good evening, Gary. I hope you're good, mate. I'll have to get you back on the old... Uh, we'll either have to do a podcast or... Or get you back on on a live if you're up for it. You still buying loads of stuff and not selling it? Oh, you husty mucker! Uh, if I'm going to have ma a manly smooch and hug with night's life, then I'm not going to shave. Rich likes a man to be rough. I do, Sean. When it's you, I do like the big grizzly bear hug. <laughs> James Bold finds is in. Good evening, mate. I hope you're good. I hope you keep it. Yeah, I hope you're keeping well too. Are you going to Apps Court tomorrow? Me and Jade are selling at Apps tomorrow. Be good to see you if you are. But I hope you're well and I hope everything's going good. Uh, everyone's saying hello. Uh, I agree, pal. It's been a week. Bit of a week to be honest, as I lost my nan on Wednesday as well. Yeah, it's, 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 I mean, I haven't got any grandparents left now. Literally, I haven't got a single grandparent left now, which, you know, is sad in itself because, like, when you're a kid, like, it's all about the grandparents, isn't it? Um, yeah, I was close to my grandparents too. Um, and as you know, I lost. I lost me, me other, my last nan I lost in 2021 for, for her 2nd of January. No, was it 21 or was it 22? No, Steve was 21. Steve was 2021. 20, no, so it was probably 20. No, it was, it was 23. 2nd of January, 23. I lost my nan. Sorry, no, pearls are a mystery to me. Yeah, definitely thinking of you, mate. It's, it's not nice. Just got out of hospital last Monday. Gallstones. No, what's it? What is it with everyone's going downhill and like being ill? Jeez, I, I, I like to think of all you like as being fit and healthy. I thought I was the only one that was decrepit with a bad back. 
Just got out of hospital. Gallstones, kidney stones. No wonder I've been finding it hard to every day to uh, go the bugger out. And apparently it's easy. So just got to wait a decade now. I'll tell you, I had kidney stones when I was, tw I think I was about 25. And they said it's really unusual for people my age to have to have that. But there was three of us in there at, at the same time having when we had, we had kidney stones and they put a stent in and at the end of it, I, I had to ask them to take a stent out because I couldn't stand up to go a wee or nothing. And um, yeah, when I went in for the kidney stones, that's the time I met Billy Connolly um, at Epsom, Epsom Hospital. He was there with his wife, Pamela Stevenson. She was there. Her dad was in intensive care. So yeah, I actually met, met the, uh, the big yin and had a, had a nice little chat with him and, he was a really lovely guy as well. Um, yeah, it's never nice. Sorry to hear that, little Steve. Do you, did you see GMTV April Fool with Pearls? No. I saw the Good Morning... Uh, is it Good Morning? No, is it GMTV? I saw the April Fools at Dermot O'Leary knocked over a... a some vials that apparently some woman had bought for one pound fifty at a car boot sale, and it was valued at thirty thousand pounds. But like that was all a all a big joke. And there was another one on another April Fools that they done was on Lorraine. There was a uh, guy on there, and he was saying that, that it was a bird translator. You guys probably saw it, and you like you press it, and you get the bird to tweet, and then it was translating it into words, and it was a. Obviously, it was a April Fool's, but there was a few of them. There was a few of them. There's a pearl in Last of the Summer Wine. There is, and there's a pearl in Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, lost the plot. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people call Steve Ian because it Oliver Ian. Takeaways two minutes away, so be right back. Nice. What you got, Sean? What have you got for your takeaway? Sorry if you lost little Steve thinking of you. Definitely. Good evening, Porky. Hope you're good, mate. Hope all are well. Yeah, very well. Better than I was two weeks ago. Well, better than I was a week ago. Uh had a bit of a bad back. I put it out at work, but um recovering now. Be be down the boots out tomorrow. But I hope you're good and selling loads of stuff. Uh, damn it, Sean. Yes, I'll be at Apps Power Hour. I have nice, nice. Be good to see you, mate. Just saying, Pearl asked if 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 you know anything about Jade. <laughs> yep, <laughs> Jade's precious. Hello from the USA, Drain the Swamp 53. Good to see you. Welcome. I hope you're well. That's a new name, so welcome. Everybody say hello to Drain the Swamp. Uh, Pete saying hello. Yes, Jeff, she's a bit of a weirdo. Cafe saying hello, Drain. Elaine's saying, yeah, we haven't got grandparents. I have lost my name nine years, October. Yeah. I mean, one of my granddads I lost in, I think, 2000, one of them. That's 24 years ago. And, and then my granddad, Fred, it's probably 18 years, I would say, since he's been gone. And I think my mum said it was four three or five years since my my uh, mum went there are only is she died on her birthday oh no jeez dying on the day you were born that's crazy uh and granddad 20 plus years now yeah that's mad mm-hmm <laughs> So did William Shakespeare. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. He, what, he died on his birthday? 
Uh, evening, Shabba. Hope you're good, mate. Shabba. He's never heard that before. I hope you're good, mate. I hope all is good with you and your family. Couldn't believe the time in calf. That was mad. Uh, Shabbata. Silly Billy. Yeah, that's a point. Yeah, because when I was when I was in the hospital with kidney stones, I said said to Jade was only a little, and and I said to her, so it's, I think she was probably only a couple of years old, if that. Maybe 18 months, two years. And I said to her, say hello to Billy. And she said, she said, hello, silly Billy. <laughs> and he just laughed. Such a lovely, lovely bloke. Funny how you, yeah, definitely funny how, how you meet people. I'm, I, I'm, well, I mean, you lot probably know anyway. You know everything about me. But when they were doing 60 minute makeover just round the corner from my house, I was walking through and there was Peter Andre. So doing 60 minute makeover so that was uh, another another one i've met but i've met him before at a recording studio years ago old pete um everyone's still saying hello pearl was a singer pearl jam got pearl jam there's a pearl in pearl arbor there is shabba there's a the black pearl in the in uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Fine, thanks, Elaine. How's your new daughter? Jeff's saying, I've never heard that you get have to get your April Fool's prank in before noon. Yeah, it's a it's a rule over here. If you prank someone after 12 midday, then the prank's on you. You're the fool. Thought it was doing much better. That's good. Thanks, everyone, for your help. Greatly appreciated. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying that, like Steve. That's excellent news. It is. Um, feels now to increase meds. Jeff's USA, USA, USA. Thank you. Doing okay. I hope so for you. Yep. All good. Thank you. Like I say, welcome, welcome to. The Saturday Night Live on Night's Life channel. And, yeah, it's a nice community, friendly community. We've got Jeff from the US. So, yeah, it's really nice for you to join us. Dave's saying, what's been your favourite sale this week, Rich? Let me have a little look-see. Let me have a little look-see and I'll see. What's my favourite sale of the week? Ooh, what's my favourite sale of the week? <coughs> hmm. It's not the it's not the most expensive sale, but I sold a pair of lokes that I paid uh what did I pay for them? I think I paid a fiver for them. I'm not sure, 100%, but I sold them for 30 quid this week. That was nice. Uh, I sold three little mini barrels. Uh, one one still had scotch in it, actually. Uh, but I didn't mention that in the listing. Sold them. Mm, what else? I sold a couple of film props. I sold a Halo prop at 100 quid. So that was nice. Yeah, I was saying earlier, like, really, the main sort of thing that I can sell quickly is the film props, but I'm sort of getting through it now, and uh, I'll need to stock up again. But, yeah, I think I think the Lokes were a nice sale. It was nice to see them go. What about you, Dave? What's your favourite sale of the week? Uh, Jade's saying, is Grandad Fred 20 years? I think I was 13. Yeah, it's got to be about, I thought I thought it was about 18, 18 years, but it could be 20 years. I'd say UK, 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 but Jeff, uh, but it just looks like Popeye laughing. <laughs> uh, thoughts are with you, Steve. Yep, definitely. We'll be thinking of him tomorrow. Um, 
What are we saying? Been on a hundred milligram search sertraline. Thought so, then. Twenty years, Jesus. That's absolutely mental. Twenty years. Uh, Peter Andre. Oh, he was actually. Yeah, years ago, I took the girls. Well, I, you know, when I was with the girls' mum, and I took all the kids and and the family to Chesnut World of Adventures and. Back in the day, there was more zoo and sort of, there were still rides up there years ago. Probably going back, jeez, probably going back, best part of, not not far short of 30 years, I would think. And um, yeah, they had, they had a load of groups up there. They had the night crawlers and they had uh, Peter Andre up there doing his, doing his thing. Yes, that's it. That's three times I've sort of said I've never, I've ne I didn't meet him at Chesert and we just watched him perform on the stage. Jade must be 33 if my maths are correct, uh, uh, same as my oldest son. Yes, 33. Correct on Monday. Yeah. Actually, yeah, it was quite easy. I could have worked it out easier than that, yeah. <laughs> Guess how old Laura is. Minus 10 years, please. Yeah, I keep saying that. 23. Don't tell anyone my real age. No, no one, no one knows. No one knows, Jade. Uh, Dave's saying a battery from a tattoo machine paid now and sold for 90 quid. Nice. Yes, yeah, mad though, that now that the tattoo machines are all battery operated and wireless. Because uh, I before I started getting my sleeve done, I I hadn't had a tattoo since, since I was in my 20s. So a long time since I've had a tattoo. And they still had the cords and that then. But obviously now it's all um, it's all wireless. I've, knit, I've just got to get a bit more finish to the old sleeve. I do like my Japanese tattoo sleeve. As you can see, it's nice. It's got the koi fish on. It's got a foo dog at the back there. Like the Japanese dog. Got to get that coloured. And then I've got another. I've got a Hanya mask. I've got a koi fish. And then I've got a dragon at the back. So, yeah, I do. I, I actually bought myself a tattoo kit years ago because I really wanted to get into tattooing. And uh, I ended up tattooing a hammerhead shark on my ankle. So if anyone ever meets me and wants to see the hammerhead, hammerhead shark that I tattooed on my own ankle, just ask. It's not great. It's not, it's not the worst, but it's not the best. Uh, good evening, Paulette. Hope you're well. Been listening in the background, but sending strength, peace, and love to all that need a bit of extra light right now. And yeah, there's 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 quite a few people that do need that right now. So it's always good to come on and try and give out the positivity. I always try and do the positive vibe thing. And uh, yeah, it's just nice nice that everybody thinks of everybody, which is really cool. Uh, yeah, that was a good that was a good sale, that mate. 1st of February 1990. 19,990. <laughs> 1990. Wow. Yeah, so 34. Was that 34? Yeah, 34. 1st of February 1990. Chris is saying, I had not received a few days ago. eBay said my funds were on hold. I didn't have any Owen. Uh, then I got two sales in three hours to refund. Nice. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah, I had an item not received. Um, it was only about a tenner. But, uh, yeah, that was a not good one. I'm still waiting on something to come back as well, camera to come back. So I've got, still got £30.95 30, £30. of mine on hold. But the person's got till the 19th. 
I agreed the thing over a week ago and it's till they got to the 19th of April to send it back. So, yeah, it's a pain, isn't it? I did have a moan at eBay and said that you're all for the all for the buyers and not for the sellers. You know, it's hard for sellers to to uh, sell these days without any problems. Um, tickety boo. Do do do. Max is in. Yes, Maxie. So I'm late. You wee little. You little wee. Um. Yeah, Max was doing a live down from the old uh, field earlier with the, the horse. Hope you're all good, all good, mate. Maxi boy, are you car booting tomorrow, Max? Are you going to a car boot or are you selling at a car boot? Okay, I hope you're doing okay, Rich. Getting his kit off. <laughs> no chance of that. No one wants to see that, Steve. No one wants to see that. But I hope, yeah, I say I haven't spoken to James for a bit, but I hope he's all right. I'm sure he is. I'm sure he's enjoying the, the time off with his family. Am. Age is not important. I just wanted to use maths correctly in a sentence to impress Kath. <laughs> I'm sure she was impressed, Jeff. Uh <laughs> I want a new tattoo, but it's going to take ages to save up the way things are going. Do you know what? I was I was really lucky um, with mine because my stepdaughter bought me a couple of. She bought me um, she bought me a voucher, a full day's voucher for Christmas, and then she bought me another voucher. I think it was a free three to four hour voucher for for my birthday. The following year, I think. So actually, I, I wouldn't have probably even started getting more tattoos if it weren't for her. But well, you know, when you get something for free, you gotta get it done. You gotta do it. And I do like I I do like tattoos. I didn't like any of the old ones that I got. I had fifteen tattoos. And my first one when I was fifteen, um, which was the biggest one I had until now. Um but, you know, all that money I spent and now I'm getting them covered up because I just, when I was getting tattoos originally, you go in the shop and you go, oh, yeah, I'll have that one there. Like probably a million people have got the same thing. Whereas now I've gone in, I've sort of designed my own thing, told him exactly what I wanted in the sleeve, you know, and some of it's, some of it's designed and some of it's freehand. So, so much better way of getting it done. And, and it actually means something because it's all about positivity and, prosperity and luck and stuff like that although my luck's not got that much better but i'm you know i'm still healthy apart from my back um you know and and it, yeah it's actually got meaning behind it which all my other ones didn't have which is part of the yakuza with his japanese tattoo don't mess so what my wife said she went why are you getting a japan why why japan why are you getting japanese tattoos like I said, it's because of my Japanese heritage. <laughs> she, she, what are you talking about? She she really uh she wasn't impressed. <laughs> but I like it. I like it. And she says, as long as I like it, she don't mind. As long as as long as I don't get them on my hands or on my neck or on my face, she says that's fine. Jade saying hello, little Maxi boy. Max is uh, always always working with a horse nowadays, uh, sending out positive vibes, just listening and catching up. I haven't done anything for two weeks, but still had some sales. Uh, it's good. How many things you got listed now, Gary? Good evening, Paul. Mr. Chop Chop, how you doing, mate? Are you going to Apps Court to tomorrow? Are you going to Apps Court Booty tomorrow? Me and Jade will be there. I hope to see you there. Good call, Chris. Not seen Laney in any chats either. Hope she's okay. Yeah, I've, I've seen Laney. I've seen Laney in Neil's chats, and I, I've seen Laney in um, Lindsay Nalvin's as well. She's been on Lindsay Nalvin's lives, so I've seen her about. She's 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 well, I think. 
Love Lainey. She's she's a she's a lovely lady. But she is I've I've seen her around. Uh that's sound like that, Paul. Gotta go. See you later. See you later, Jeff. Thanks for coming in and see you soon. Uh Lainey was with Lindsay now. Yeah, she was, yeah. Yep. Uh Max is saying hi to all to you all. Sorry, hands free I'm just unloading the latest haul. The latest haul. Where have you been and got that from? Word as it Rich's hammerhead tattoo looks like the first attempt at a Tesla logo done with crayon by Michael J. Fox. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I wish my tattoo was done by Michael J. Fox. I'd chop my leg off. It'd be worth a fortune. The live I'd done was well glitchy. Yeah, but, you know, it works. Um, that's good. I think it was Chris asking in Andrew's chat yesterday, too. I'm not impressed. I'll let my age slip. Yeah, don't tell anyone, Jade. Always knock 10 to 15 years off. Shouldn't you be uploading, Matt? Uh, loading up, Max, not unloading. Very true. The tattoo voucher is jet, very gen was very generous. It was. But you know what, as well? The, the, the guy that we go to, um, he's got the studio at the back of my stepdaughter's um, shop where she rents a room and does uh, brows. She does eyebrows and stuff. Eyebrow tattooing. And uh, she... She she's just does HD brows, so like she does everything to do with eyebrows and that. And um, he's he's behind the he's just attached to the little building on the back of the shop. And whereas everyone else is like four hundred and fifty a day, he does a lot of days where he'll do it for two fifty or two hundred. I mean, I think he done a black. I think the one that I paid for, he done a Black Friday deal. Uh, and it was 150 for a whole day's tattooing. So I obviously went for that one. But yeah, he's he's really good prices and he's a good tattooist. His realism work, when he does like um, portraits and stuff uh, or animals, in it, his black and grey work is absolutely it's mental. Really, really good. I'm just reading on MMN UK. Andrew's been in the sun, his podcast. With car, car boot Chris, never know who's watching you, eh? Very true. This podcast with car boot Chris. I've not been asked to go on car boot Chris's podcast. He hasn't asked me. I must have upset him. Oh, it's probably because I'm not a proper reseller. <laughs> I'm not a proper reseller anymore. <laughs> no boot sale tomorrow for me, but I just found a big hole enough to fill the van. Where did you find that? You little schmeckle back sorry neighbors turned up for a yak no problem as long as you guys are all right that's all that matters um max come on the live he can come on the live if he wants but i think he's he's busy at the minute plan to go and buy apps see you tomorrow then that'd be good mate don't visit up at us at apps max Max will be coming down and doing a car boot at app soon. Uh, it went to 150 items rich, but getting it back up to 250 for now. Nice. I've only got, I've got under 100 at the minute. I ended a load of stuff that just had no views, no, um, no watchers. I just took it all off. And what I'll do is I'll try it again in weeks or maybe a month or so and chuck them back on if they don't get anything after that i'll just it'll just go in a boot sale pile i'm trying to take different stuff to the boot sale tomorrow i'm not taking loads of sunglasses and stuff you know i've got a trunky that i'm taking and uh sealed board games and uh, a whole carry-on uh vhs box sets but it's it's four four boxes, but they're made out like suitcases. So you've got a little handle on them and Velcro straps and that. So I'm going to take them tomorrow. Uh, wicker baskets. I've got some wicker baskets. Oh, that's who I haven't seen tonight. I haven't seen Paul and Marie. M's Den. 
Tam and Bell as well. I haven't seen Tam and Bell tonight. Uh, loads more unlisted too, though. Well, you've always got like tons unlisted. You're like me. Although my unlisted stuff, most of it, I'm going through it now and it's going to charity shops. I can't be dealing with it. You can show me your hammer hammerhead. I will show you my crabs. <laughs> oh, dear. I would delay, but I'm rushing around like a loon. I've got to get this lot in the lot in before it rains and also need to get down to feed dd you mate you might as well just move in down to the tack room at stables not whilst i'm there please <laughs> oh dear i'll be there before you know it tell me when you're going max i'll make sure i'm not there <laughs> i'm sure you will if I get all the uh, all the deeds done, Rich, and, and Rich is still on, I'll jump on and show you a sneak peek at some of the boxes. Well, there you go. Hurry up then. Uh, if the wonderful R and Mrs. Chop Chop, busy, busy work, bang, bang, are going to apps, I may have to brush my hair and spray some smelly on myself. <laughs> Nice. Uh, where's Michael X Gov and Ian J? Yep, that's very true. And Ray, Ray's Ray's a member of the the Apps Court crew. Yep. Oh, yep. Ron. I think it's is it Ron or is it Ray? Yeah, yeah, it's Ron. I thought it was Ray. Yeah, before, but yeah, it's Ron. Just thought of M's Den and Tam and Bell when you mentioned baskets too. Yeah, I know. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna save them some baskets. I've got a massive wicker basket that I know I definitely know that um uh, Marie will like. Paul definitely won't, but I think Paul's had enough of wicker. He's not interested anymore. <laughs> yeah, so hopefully the weather will stay off and we'll we'll have a nice little sale at Apps Court and get rid of some stuff. Get some pennies in. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. But who else is going to a car boot? Are you going buying? Are you going selling if you're going? Ah, there you go. Look, Paul and Marie are here just listening whilst cooking. Hope you're well. Yeah, really, really good. Thank you. Hope you're good, both of you. Um, yeah, I hope all is good with you and eBay's banging and yeah. Just hope everything's going the way it should with you. Oh, a little drink of lemonade. Jade's saying I'm a basket case. Thank you, Jade. Love, love my daughter. Uh, hope you're both well. Jade saying hi, Huns. Oh, that's, that's how I greeted Paul when I met him. Because um, Paul and Marie obviously came down and we met. And, uh, yeah, I did say hi, hun. <laughs> um, Zems. Nearly all local car boots cancel tomorrow. Darn, Kathleen. Like father, like daughter. Very true. Yeah, but it's good to see you guys. I say, you know, we. I want to get the. I want to get the Saturday Night Live back to where it was. It was more of an entertainment show. You know, it's nice. This is nice. I love coming on and chatting with you guys. But like, I think you was more. It was you was more into it, and it was more people into it when it was a bit entertaining and like I'd have people on. You know, we had Lee Cola Flipper was doing the uh, cocktail of the week for us. That was that was a brilliant little segment watching him make the cocktail of the week so hopefully fingers crossed i'll have a little word with lee and see whether we can get the cocktail of the week back it'd be nice to see him for one and it'd be good good to uh see what other cocktails he can come up with mm -mm -mm. all right ptp um they say my daughter's a mummy's girl. Yeah. Yeah. My daughter loves her dad. 
You are the entertainment. I love taking the piss out of you. Thank you very much. Lovely. <laughs> Hi, Pat. Hope you're okay. Enjoy the weekend. Are you going to the car boot? She's she is going to um she's going to what's it called? Um oh, I can't remember what the one's called now. It's the one that Peter Ray goes to as well. Um near Chesington. Um, but she said if that one's not on, she'll go to apps. So that'd be cool. Hi, Max, uh, Steve, Jade, Shava, Usties and Port Gary, uh, Paul Chop Chop. Good to see you guys, though. Uh, Jade, that's not nice. That's See, that's what she's like, really. She's just a bully to her dad. She just, she, you know. <laughs> Hook Road, that's it. Hook Road Arena. Is sort of between Epsom and, and Chesington. Yeah. Oh, look, here's Ian. See, you say the names and they appear. I'm just, I'm here just lurking. Jade Knight got a dodgy eye at the moment, but I should be down at apps tomorrow. Very good to see you, mate. It will be good to see you tomorrow. Actually, dodgy eye. My other stepdaughter's got a pug and he's got a dodgy eye. He's got an eye infection, poor little thing. But that, you know, pug, pug's already got bug eyes, haven't they? So, like, if he's got an infection, it's he it must look like Nookie Bear. Um, do, 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 saying hello, saying hello, saying hello. Uh, how's the cooking, Lynn? I don't know. Hope it gets better ASAP. Definitely. Just watch out for the big puddle on the way in. <laughs> yeah i bet it's gonna be well hopefully it won't be too bad i mean it's raining down here today but hopefully it won't be too sodden up there and hopefully they've cut the grass so it's not all uh gonna uh soak us my back is a lot better it is a lot better still not 100 percent. still get twinges and stuff but um you know, I managed to load the car up and I managed to sort of move stuff about here today. So it's a, it's a lot better than what it was, which is good. Oh, that was my belly then. Don't know if you heard that. Oh, 40 people in. Well, thank you very much, guys. Really appreciate the uh, the company. It's nice to have you all in, 40 of you. Really, really nice to see you all. And welcome. If you haven't said hello or you're new to the channel, then please do feel... feel uh, that you can come and say hello. So it's a very friendly. Oh, look. Do you know what? I'm going to start saying more names. Look. Lee. Bonjour, Rich. Long time no see. Hope you are well, young man. Not two minutes ago did I say I haven't seen Lee Cola Flipper for ages. It'd be nice to get see you again and to get you back on doing the, doing the cocktail of the week. Literally two minutes ago, I said your name. I keep saying people's names and then they appear. That's crazy. Good to see you, mate. I hope everything's good with you. I hope the Porsche is running lovely. And uh yeah, I hope that uh Cola Cabana is all is all working for you. It's toys and tings. Um takeaway calf. Lovely cut. Oh, I love curry. Do love curry. Not too bad. Hope you're well too. Has everybody been watching Fan Simons and Chris? Carboot Chris is um so married to reselling and cooking Haydens. Have you been watching their videos on the bubble wrap scam? That's outrageous. That is outrageous. I'm sure didn't Paul and Marie, didn't you do something about the bubble wrap as well? I've been watching that. They're selling it as a hundred metre rolls. And you're getting 60 metres. It's outrageous. Don't forget the thumbs up, peeps. Thank you very much, Porky. Appreciate that. Dave's saying, top tip, leave fe feedback for your purchase you've made from business sellers. A lot have uh, set their stories to leave auto feedback on receipt of feedback. Ah, there you go. I always forget to leave feedback. I don't know why. I just forget it. You're very welcome. We were sorry to hear everything you have 
been going through. Yeah, they've really been going through it as well. I said that at the start of this. You know, feel so sorry for them. Stressful thing. That's good. Uh, no way. Maybe you need to predict the lottery numbers. Well, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, I've got to say, I've got to say some really banging. What who can I say? Beyonce, uh, Keanu Reeves. Uh, who else? Who else can I say? Daniel Craig, King Charles. <laughs> I doubt he's watching. I doubt King Charles is watching. But it's just weird. I've said about um, I've said about four four different names of people or couples tonight, and like they've appeared, and it's I haven't seen them for weeks. So it's incredible, incredible the amount of of people that have actually turned up um that i haven't seen for a while 38 watching 15 thumbs up if people like it they can leave a thumbs up if they don't like it then leave a thumbs down if you do like it though and you this is your first time here do leave a thumbs up leave us a comment you know if you don't want to say hello on the live leave us a comment saying hello and uh yeah make sure you subscribe uh hang on where am i uh yeah Chris, Chris's was mental. I know it's absolutely bonkers. What a ripoff! Absolute ripoff. Uh, Steve spends a penny, and George's treasure shed did a bubble wrap videos too. Oh, really? I'll have to have a look at them. I will have to have a look. I counted my two hundred poly bags because of this bubble thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I didn't. Um, I think Chris even done a, a roll of tape just to make sure it was 150 metres and it was bang on, he said. But the bubble wrap's just, a, that's a proper scandal. No, not us. I think George Treasure Shed did something on bubble wrap gate, yeah. I know Fan Simon did it and I know Chris has done it. Um, James. He didn't say hello to my mum. I got Steve thinking of you. That's lovely. Charles says, hi, <laughs> yeah, yeah, wouldn't that be mad if he, if he said, send me, look, King Charles, come on, said, send me the link, send me the link, dear boy, yeah, that'd be a funny one, that name pop up, mind you, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if some of them names popped up now, because, because old Jeff's probably, probably making, making a new one as we speak, we're back. Uh, busy but okay, thanks. Should be moving in the next couple of weeks. So fingers crossed. Third time, lucky. Last two sales fell through. Sorry to hear that. Fuck sake, Rich. Start talking about naked Gal Gadot. Oh yes, naked Gal Gadot. Yep. Or 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 uh, naked Margot Robbie. I've actually met Margot Robbie. She did have her clothes on at the time, so. Ordered 5,000 thank you cards. I'm not counting them. I don't blame you. I wouldn't count them either. Jade saying, where's Chaddy Pete and the Luxury Pickers? They're, I think, they've got so much on that they probably don't even sit and watch YouTube anymore, to be honest. I do watch, I still watch uh, Chaddy Pete and Lola stuff. They do the, um, they do their whatnot shows from the Rag House. Get some good deals from them. And uh, same with the Luxury Pickers. Um, you know, they're, they're just crashing it, really. They're, they're smashing out the content. They're still putting videos out. And, you know, I'm sure they're doing really well. I'm sure both both couples are doing really well and absolutely smashing it. And, you know, it's it's nice to know that. Uh, it was the fact that he wasted a roll of tape. Had to put his prices up to cover the loss of the roll. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I thought that bubble wrap scam was just in the States. No. It's definitely over here as well. How can you sell someone 100 metres and only send 60 metres? That's just, that's outrageous. I'm, do you know what? And I'm worried actually about buying bubble wrap now just for that fact. Just because I I don't think I could be bothered to, to, to measure it. So now I just buy a little bit of bubble wrap as I need it from the sh local, local, um, oh God, what's that called? Oh, the that one that does puzzles and all that, the works. 
So I'll just go in there and buy a couple of their one pound rolls because I just, which is stupid because I suppose even if you're getting not the complete hundred meters, you're still getting more money's worth than I'm getting by buying little rolls. But it's just the principle of it with me, really. Cola Cabana has free leaks and the Porsche is pissing power steering fluid all over the drive, but all is in hand. Free leaks. I bet it looks good, though. Not the leaks. I bet the, the Cola Cabana looks good. ABL, come on the live. Dave's always welcome. It's good to see you, though, Lee. Definitely. Uh, do, do, do. Barely watched any reselling in months, then binge three or four hours over the last two days. Do you know what? I, I If something pops up, I sort of, I watch a bit. Sometimes I have to skim through it and sometimes I have to go back to it. It's just not enough time to watch everybody still. Uh, had some recently and half the bubbles had burst. That's not good either, is it? The works. Yes, Jade, the works. You're correct. The luxury pickers are live on what not now. 134 watches. Nice. They're smashing it. See, I'm all set up to go on whatnot. I'm all on boarded. I'm ready to go. I can do a live on whatnot as soon as I'm ready. I just need to pull out some stuff to do. To do, I want to make sure that I've got at least 50 items to go go with. Um, like I say, I'm going to run through my eBay, and if there's stuff that isn't sold on there, maybe a shirt. If I got it up for 15 or 20 quid, I'll just take it off if it's not getting any traction. And I'll get them all steamed and sorted out and just do it, start at start a quid. I'd rather, you know, let someone have a bargain for a pound rather than rather than just have them sit there. 134 watches. That's good, though. Look on Facebook. People give bubble away. Yeah, I, I do look on there every now and again on Facebook Marketplace. I mean, I bought some massive rolls of it i did a video on it i think i bought four rolls of 500 by 100 meters and these were proper these were bagged up they were big massive rolls not like what you get now and i had a massive four foot tall of the big bubble wrap as well and that was that was really good i think i paid 10 pound a bag so 20 quid tenner i got four four rolls of 100 meters by 500 by 50 centimetres. And I say the other one was four foot tall and it had the big bubbles in. It lasted me ages. It lasted me absolutely ages. Sometimes when I do the deliveries and I deliver uh, paint to um, some of the paint shops, they have bubble wrap around them. So um, I, I, I sometimes get the bubble wrap from there, which is always a good thing. Going to go watch the Artful Dodger before my early night. Have an awesome sourcing day tomorrow, guys. Cheers, Dave, for popping on, mate. Appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, have a good day tomorrow, mate. If you fancy something to watch, Rich, Secret of Multi-Level Millionaires. Oh, I saw it. I saw it. It wasn't... Um... Yeah, I think Lola was on it, wasn't she? Is that the one with Lola on? When she was doing... Um... Unique. Yeah, I think I, I think I did see it. But then I I did a thing called Forever once. I I started a, this thing called Forever, and it's aloe. Vera, it's all to do with aloe vera stuff. And I was selling loads to people I knew, but like I didn't want want to be recruiting people. And that's the only way you're really going to make any money is by recruiting people, and you get yourself closer and closer to the top of that pyramid. You know, I couldn't be asked with that, really. Uh, Cav saying you're at Bolton tomorrow, Dave. Is what not just closed? No, no, you can sell other stuff on there. When you when you have your interview, because you have to have an online interview, a Zoom meeting, um, and they ask you exactly what stuff you want to sell, or when you when you fill out the form as well, you put on there what you want to sell, whether it's men's fashion, women's fashion, collectibles homewares i think you can sell pretty much you know there's a wide range of stuff you can you can sell on there right dave good luck for booting in the morning lee's saying same i was invited to go and whatnot but too much going on at the moment yeah it's it's the same with me i know i just need to sort out 
plenty of stuff before. I don't want to go on there with like 10 things. It'll be finished in, in like 10 minutes. It'll be no point. Uh, no, raining. Uh, you don't want to go, yeah. Boot. For, worst thing is going boot sailing in in the rain. I can't bear it. Me and Jade went one day, and it wasn't supposed to be raining. Lucky enough, I took some plastic sheet, and the amount of times I had to cover it up and uncover it was mental. And like, you don't want to go and buy stuff. You don't want to go and buy stock in the rain either. It's it's not good. What not is clothing and collectibles mainly. Loads of boys' toys, like trading cards, etc. Yeah, see you later, Dave. Hey, up, Lee. Hope you're well. Uh... <laughs> Enjoy your lines tomorrow, yeah. I'm going to be up at five tomorrow. I'll be off to Aki. I'm going to be, yeah, up at five tomorrow. Well, no, I'm not going to be up at five. I'm going to be up about half four. I'm going to be leaving at five and getting to Jade's just before six loading up all her stuff and then getting to apps probably about quarter to seven is when we usually get there and then hope it says it's going to be 16 degrees and we uh, and cloud so as long as it's 16 degrees and cloud it'll be all right been what watching a few i uh, definitely hope it's good for you uh still Doing that, I think, as she is at high level from what I can tell. She's really high up in, in it, yeah. Yeah, she's got crazy amounts of people that work under her. But I don't know. I think she might have given... I don't know. I think she might have given it up. Now she's gone full-time reselling with, with Pete. I think. So want to go to a boot sale, but can't manage to get around. It's so frustrating. And that is because you pick up too much stuff, Gary. You want to buy everything. Uh, it's mental how big these companies are. It really is, yeah. Huge, huge. I say, I know Forever's one of them. Unique's another one. But there's plenty of them around. Bank manager getting worried. Not really. Hub is my bank. Nice, yeah. Really nice and early not. What's this? Oh, that's the is that the thing to it? The link. There you go, guys. If you want to go and watch something interesting, uh, do 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 do. Uh, she was on a channel a few months back. Yeah, don't think I'm booting tomorrow. I did a stock take of unlisted stock, literally thousands of pounds worth, just waiting for me to get my act together and actually list it. Crazy, isn't it? I bought a pair of Uggs. Oh, actually, Lee, yeah, because um. I did mention when I'd done my UG cleaning um, video that you'd done one, but I literally used, I see it earlier actually, it's probably down here somewhere. I literally used that, or if you can see it, it's a proper emu suede cleaning kit. It, and it comprises of, it's like a it's like a rubber, but they call it a stone, and just a little brush. And the difference it made to the boots, uh, I paid four quid for the boots, and sold them. I think I sold them on, on an offer. I think I sold them for twenty five, but they were really badly water damaged when I got them, and uh, yeah, cleaned them up all right. There's uh, loads of these companies. There is. I know that's the interview with Chaddy and Lola about doing it. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought, because I thought, I'm sure I saw a thing with Lola, because it might have been on Instagram saying that she's now full-time reseller with Pete. I mean, now they've got that rag house, like, they've got it made, really. I don't think she's got time to do her other thing now. Uh, like a channel, but... She must be mega busy. Oh, definitely. Hi, Rich. Hope you well, mate. Do you let anyone look in your car boot sales when setting up? Seen lots of bars jumping in boots. And it looks like cars. Good evening, mate. Um, no, I don't let people get in the car boot. I think it's rude. 
and you know i don't begrudge anyone that does it or wants to do that i don't jump in people's boots and i don't expect people to jump in mine you always get them when we get there tomorrow morning it's going to happen you're going to get the usual lot to come around and go got any jewelry got any laptops got any games got any vinyl you know you always get that i've never had anyone jump in the boot and start rummaging about or mooching about so yeah i, I wouldn't do it personally i wouldn't i wouldn't let anyone get in my boot either uh, oh, not seen your UG video. My cleaning vid has got something like 50k views now. But mine's got nothing like that, mate. My videos don't. I don't put enough content out. It sort of died off a lot, quite a bit. Um, paid for two tires for the Porsche. Nice, nice. Yeah, um, yeah. I, I, I don't know how many views I've had on mine. Actually, let's have a quick look. Let's have a look. I haven't put a lot of videos out, like I say. Um, mostly, mine's the lives. Oh, no, don't want that. Don't want that. Don't want that. Your videos. Uh, how I clean Ugg boots and suede items for reselling. 82 views, mate. So I'm catching you up. And that was three weeks ago. Oh, no, we don't want to listen to that. Three weeks ago. So that's me. Holding a pair of Uggs together there like that. Look. Oh, there you go. It's not very clear. But it's called How I Clean Ugg Boots and Suede Items for rese Reselling. 80, the big 83 views. That's going to, that's not even going to pay for, I don't think, I, I don't think I'd even get a 1p chew with that. <laughs> Good job I don't do it for the money, isn't it? I remember you doing that, Vid, uh, vid Rich. Amazing difference. Yeah, it really and, and I see. I used to work for a company called Nature Shop, and most of their stuff was merino wool. There was a lot of sheepskin boots and leather boots and stuff like that. So, part of the stuff is obviously when the returns come back, is you have to get them all cleaned up the best you can, and see whether you can resell them or not. And uh, yeah, it was a uh, it was a good learning curve actually. It was it was, and I I never even thought about it. I watched Lee's video. I didn't even think about it, about doing a video myself until I bought them Ugg boots that were really water damaged for four quid. And I thought, you know, they've got to be 20, 25, 30 quid. So I thought I'd give it a go, actually make a video for once in a long time. Probably might do a bit of videoing at the car boot sale tomorrow. But we will see. They are huge, but it's frightening how few people actually make plenty of money. Yeah. To be frank, penny chews cost about 10p now. That's very true. It's it's mental how much sweets cost now. It's just ridiculous. I've done, which is a good thing because it, it makes me not want to buy any anymore. Uh it took years to get to 50k. It always gets a little boost in winter. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm that's probably the best time to have people watching it, to be honest. But yeah, I I'd say I I just Thought I'd put a video up because I haven't done anything reselling related for a long time. And I thought it'd be quite a good video, interesting video. And the ones that watched it found it interesting. Um, yeah, it was. Um, yeah, took me back to my days of working for, for the uh, for nature shop. I was about to say that, calf. Yeah, it's ridiculous now. Got to go. Dinner's ready. Have a great evening, everyone. Thank you, Lee, for popping in, mate. Hope to see you soon. And. Hopefully we can have a little talk about getting you back doing a cocktail of the week if you if you've ever got a bit of time. But enjoy your dinner, mate. See you later. Um, letting balloons go tomorrow, Rich. Yeah, definitely. I should be letting the balloon go for Steve as well. Uh, have you ever found a film prop at a car boot? Uh, and are you picking up Christmas decorations just now to sell later in the year? Well. I will be looking out for Christmas decorations because I know everyone does that now. But saying that, a lot of people sell Christmas decorations all year round. I've got a couple of Christmas decorations on and I haven't even had a sniff at them. Um, but yeah, I will be looking out for Christmas stuff. Tomorrow, probably not because tomorrow I'm just, it's all about selling. I'm not, not even thinking about buying tomorrow. But, um, and have you ever found a film prop at a car boot? Yeah. 
when me and my brother went to Denham Car Boot, which is up by Pinewood Studios, you know, you see quite a few of them around. Although I did see a rubber prop uh, James Bond gun at Ford Car Boot, which is about 10 minutes away from my house. So, yeah, I have found uh, props at Car Boot. But the guy wanted silly money for it, so I never, I never bought it. Uh, I'll pop one for sure. I'll do a podcast with you when I'm better chap. No worries, mate. Just uh, yeah, we'll we'll uh, send a couple of messages on uh, Instagram when you're better. Cafe, I remember buying two blackjacks and two fruit salads sweets for one p in our old sweet shop. Uh, someone mentioned about I'm on this page and it's about Leatherhead where I used to live, and they used to have this sweet shop uh, up by the bus garage. And uh, actually, it's right by where, uh, who's the, what's his name? The kid that plays uh, the slivering, the slivering kid. What's his name? Can't remember. I don't really, not really hot with Harry Potter, but, but he lived just opposite the sweet, this sweet shop. And um, I used to take the kids in there and like, you used to get a massive, ba- like sweets were one P each. You used to get a massive bag for a quid. Massive bag of sweets for a quid. Now you're lucky to get, like, I don't know, a packet of chewing gum for a quid. It's mental. Oh, I do I do like the old, uh, I like blackjacks. Blackjacks were one of my favourites. Blackjacks, definitely. Fruit salads are nice as well. I remember that. Two must have been the same shop. The old chocolate box. Nice. Uh, when I was a kid, yes, I can remember. I got hooked on. Oh, that's another thing I like. Victory V's. 6D and a quarter in our local in our local um, shop. Yeah, I still like Victory V's. Buy me blackjacks on the way to school. Oh, do love a blackjack. Actually, I just nicked a couple of sweets off of my son. Just a little little lolly and ref, refresher. I think it's a strawberry flavoured refresher. But I still like the old drumstick lollies. I, any, I'm not really so much into hard boiled sweets. I just like the gummy, chewy sweets. I think they're just lush. I could eat a ton of them. Yeah, actually saying that, I say I don't really like the hard sweets. But strawberry and creams were just were just really cool, really nice. Sherbet dib dabs. Oh, you still buy them? Still buy the sherbet, sherbet dib dabs. And uh, but the, the thing is, like they have got some of the old sweets still. But the, the thing is, they're so much smaller than they used to be. Like they're tiny in comparison. If you buy a double decker now, it is nothing like a double decker used to be. If you buy a Yorkie. It's about half the size. Like Yorkie was was known for being the chunky chocolate for truckers. I'll tell you what, truckers would be moody if they only got half the size of the chocolate they, they were supposed to be getting. Victory sweets, the Victory V's are sweet. Fisherman's Friends as well. I like Fisherman's Friends. Army and Navy as well. Army and Navy sweets. How's your diet in the gym going, Dad? Um, I had to cancel the gym for mon- monetary reasons. Uh, diet most days it goes all right um and obviously with my back i've lumped a bit of weight on because i haven't been able to like walk the dogs i'm walking the dogs now again but yeah i've i've got a few months to get myself fit again what's the diet jade <laughs> got a cupboard full of sweets not good that's all right i'll come around and see you tomorrow <laughs> Are you still into watching films as much now, Rich? I remember you saying you used to watch a lot. Actually, I've watched some good ones just lately. I didn't think I'd like it because I'm not really into computer games anymore. But I did used to like Gran Turismo. And there's there's a film out called Gran Turismo where, and it's a true story, I never knew, about a kid that was, he he was like a champ on Gran Turismo on the PS, on the PlayStation. And they actually took five people, I think, the top five people on Grand Tur- that planned Gran Turismo game and actually took them to to drive proper uh, F1. Was it F1? But 
driving properly in the races and and the kid that um w w the film's about is actually that's what he does for a living now he drives he drives race cars so how amazing is that just from just from sitting at home playing driving games on on the computer mental uh and also what was the other ones i watched i watched the new roadhouse that was quite good but conor mcgregor's an absolute absolute crappy actor and um i watched something else i watched another good one but i can't remember what it is and i've watched a couple that i've watched before that i really like i watched um last night actually last night i was just about to go to bed and my one of my favorite favorite films come on and it's a film with robin williams and uh i had to watch it what dream what dreams may come it's an incredible film. If you if you haven't seen it, What Dreams May Come with Robin Williams. It's an absolutely spectacular film. It's one of my favourites. I, I, there was no way I was going to bed once that came on. Uh, and the other day I watched The Adjustment Bureau with uh, Emily Blunt in it. And uh, and the and Damon, Matt Damon. That was another good film I really like. There are films that I can watch a few times and there's some like I watch it once and I, I'm not bothered anymore. Lifted up with Miles Bar the other day and put it back on the shelf. They shrunk. Same with all them. Same with all them sort of things. Lion bars. I used to love a lion bar. That's because we were smaller, Ridge. <laughs> yeah, probably. No, I wish it was. Yeah, you constantly have the munchies, Maxi boy. He does. <laughs> he does. You could knock a donkey out with a Mars bar. They were that big. Yeah, not anymore. Not anymore. In San Arts Max, I remember when you bought when you bought king size Mars bars and needed a hammer and chisel to break the chocolate. Definitely. You don't now. <laughs> you definitely don't now. Uh I can't jump on. Sorry, geez. Dinner's ready in 10. And then I've got to give Mason's girlfriend. Girlfriend? A lift back straight after. Oh, Mason. What's the TV show called Dark City, The Cleaner? It's weird, but I enjoyed it. There was a film I watched years ago, and I'm sure it's got Richard O'Brien in it. And I thought that was called Dark City. And it's a proper weird sort of futuristic film. But it's amazing. I'm sure it's called Dark City, but I'm going to check. I will check what it's called and, uh, yeah, I'll let you know. But I'm sure it's called Dark City. Max let you down. Never. Max could never let me down. Uh, have you seen Saw X? I haven't seen Saw X yet, no. No. I quite like the Saw films, but they were a bit samey. You know, 1, 2, 3, 20, all a bit samey. Uh... Those wagon wheels have shrunk a bit. Yeah, like, it's just ridiculous. I mean, I used to, I like midget gems, obviously, because I'm a midget. But I used to get a bag in, I think it's in Tesco's for about 35 pence, 39 pence, something like that. They're like over a quid now. Since the, since the lockdown and everything's gone up stupidly, anything with sugar in it, like with extra tax and that on it now. Are you still going to build a bar, Rich? I am which is why I'm trying to clear this out. I'm probably going to sell this as well and just get a normal chair, fold up chair that I can sit on when I do the Saturday night lives and, and that, and um, get rid of this. That's another big lump. I've got a, a, a wine chiller behind here with all this stuff on it. Get rid of that. Um, get rid of that. I was going to take that to the car boot tomorrow, but like I paid 45 quid for it and it works fine. It's you can, you can connect to it wirelessly and all that. And it all lights up and, but um, yeah, I, I, I probably wouldn't get fifteen quid for it. I wouldn't think at a car boat. So, but yeah, I need to make space here because this is where it's going to go at the back here. Also, for filming it, it'd be like a good little backdrop. Uh, hi, Peter. Not futuristic, Rich. This one's about a serial killer. Cool. I'll have to. I like serial killer films. Where's that thing? I've got a couple of envelopes, framed envelopes from The Watcher, which is where Keanu Reeves is a serial killer and James Spade is the cop that's trying to get him. What about crisps? You're just 
playing for air now. That's very true. Yeah, the bags are full of air. Nothing's what it used to be. Like it, they've just really everything shrunk. All chocolate, like wagon wheels, penguins, Kit Kats, etc., shrunk. Yeah, definitely. Good evening, Peter. I hope you're good, mate. Are you going car booting tomorrow, Pete? Good to see you, though. Oh, Lynn, lady after my own heart. Palmer violets are probably my favourite sweets of all time. Like when I went to get them couple of sweets off my son, like he'd eaten the Palmer violets, but you can buy the big ones, the big, the big massive palm violets. I can get four packs for a quid at a place called uh, Barnum Trading Post, which is it's near my son's school, so it's only about fifteen minutes from here. And they do the massive say, I think it's four four rolls of them for a quid. Oh, the thing is, they'll all be gone. Like I'd eat four packs, I'd eat in like half an hour, they'll be gone. Get a director's chair. Yeah, I did have one, but I got rid of it. So yeah, something like that would be ideal because it's got the armrest, the backrest. I'll have to have a look when I go to the booty. Not tomorrow though. All about the selling tomorrow. Uh, Chris is saying that's like an old bus seat from the 70s. Did you buy it off Blakey? Do you know what? Funny you should say that, Chris, because I was looking at um at an old bus seat today. Not that I'm going to buy it, but I looked on Facebook Marketplace. And um, lovely thing from that's from the 60s or the 70s from um, South Down buses that drive down here. Uh, really nice as well. And I was only looking at them earlier today. Yeah. Like, proper quality. Now bus seats. They're really cool and they're like solid shiny wood on the back, I think, as well. 275 quid though uh lovely seat lovely example of an original two-person bench seat from a 1965 south south downs leyland titan pd3 queen mary bus i love things like that old cinema seats and i was going to have a couple of old cinema seats in here i was going to buy three lots of two because i've got a projector screen there and i'm going to put the projector up here so i was going to have a few of the projector seats but i thought if i if I'm going to do anything like that. I might as well just get a big, big old corner sofa or something in there. Uh, Pete's going to be down at Hook Road. So you'll see my mum there tomorrow, mate. My brother has Palmer Violet cider. Do you know what? I had Palmer Violet gin and it was a shimmer gin. So like you'd shake it up and like it was just like all these bits moving in there. Really, oh, I love Palmer Violet gin. Uh, are you selling tomorrow, Pete? No, buying. Get some, please. <laughs> Sarah's favourites too. Oh, mate, love them. I'll, I'm going to buy some and I'll show you next week. Next Saturday, I'll show you the Palmer Violets I can buy. Actually, what I might do is start sending, start sending some out to people because I, I just love them. Palmer Violets taste like old ladies' handbags, just like mine. <laughs> do you taste your handbag do you think any of the current younger generation would appreciate the old carry on movies etc I don't think so mate I don't think I, I just don't think that they'd be entertained by that I think nowadays that if they're going to watch a funny film they want to watch something like Bad Neighbour or you know one of these American films I love carry on and there's only one reason I'm getting rid of them, and that's because I'm never going to watch them on VHS. But I've got four four box sets, and they're like a little suitcase, and they've got 10 VHS in each. Some of them are sealed in there as well. So um, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm taking them to the car boot tomorrow because they're just sitting there taking up space, and I need to clear space. But I can watch all the carry-ons on stream. I can stream them anyway. So, But you can't beat a carry-on film. I just, I just don't think that the younger generation now would get it, the old sense of humour. 
I haven't seen them for years. Oh. Better get some for Lady Like Lin Lin. You might bump into Sir Pete too, Pat. Very true. She might. <laughs> oh, do love a Palma Violet. Oh, matron. Ding dong. I do love it. Oh, actually, look, and, and I've got something else that relates to the carry-ons. Ding dong, matron. <laughs> you always get that in carry-ons. Do love a penny whistle. <laughs> you gotta love you gotta love a carry-on film. And I love them as well. Like I've been to Pinewood and that's where they film most of them. I've done videos around the outskirts of Pinewood and and stuff where they've had certain houses in it and that. Yeah, I definitely love. Definitely love a carry on. Never get bored of them. Never ever get bored of carry on films. But um, right, guys. Well, we we've done an hour and a half, and uh, I sh I don't want to I don't want to uh, go on any more. I want you to enjoy the rest of your, your Saturday, and I've got an early morning tomorrow. Um, Lindsay and Alvin are live, and I think they're doing a not what sale. So I think they're doing auctions. Um, over there, not what not, but not what. So go over there and check that out with them guys. And uh, yeah, thank you all for coming in. We had 40 odd people in at one stage, which is really good. It's nice to see the numbers growing again and new names turning up. Like I say, we're going to get back there. We're going to bring back the full on entertainment. We're going to, I'm sure James will pop on and do a couple of, couple of Saturdays with me as well. You know, he, he's, he loves it when he gets on. He really loves it when he gets on. But um, been a nice listen. Oh, Lindsay and Alvin are just starting. Oh, well, there you go. Uh, yeah, so, oh, yeah, because nine o'clock, isn't it? Yeah, oh, it's only nine o'clock. But, uh, yeah, so go over and watch them, guys. Yeah, thanks for the chat, definitely. I hope everyone's good. I hope you all have a good weekend. If you're booting, buying, I hope you get pick up some good stuff. If you're selling, I hope you sell some good stuff. T take care, Rich. Uh, thanks for coming in, mate. Like I say, all you guys, I do appreciate every bit of support. And other than that, all I'll say is I will definitely see you next Saturday, maybe with Palmer Violets in hand. So see you next week. See you later. <laughs>